Hello. Y'all. I'm in a hotel right now, so hopefully the background noise isn't too much. Um. <coughs> I just wanted to talk a little bit about beliefs and uh, how it's so contrary to what to what is thought of by most of the collective, most of the people out there. That belief is what religion is based on and, and what what God, what the, this, this powerful, powerful word in the English language, with a capital G, God, it's like belief is required to enter the kingdom of heaven, enter the pure land, the holy land. Um, it's amazing because that's the furthest thing from the truth as far as as far as I know, based on just all the brilliant reflections, in other words, all the brilliant teachers that I've had access to, um, what they expound is the opposite of what so many folks think. And that's why there's such a turnoff to, to religion. You know, and on the one hand, there's such a, a beauty in, in certain in traditions that feel like they're based on truth, the aspects of, of world religion that feels like it can deepen an individual, and everybody's different. And for other people, this is the age of just breaking through of all that stuff, you know, and just free time, and, and just coming back to the heart. There's a beautiful um, Ramana Maharshi, Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi, such, a, such an amazing master who left left the body and passed, in other words, in 1950. There's a beautiful book of like quotes of his and pictures, and uh, I really love it. And it's called, Heart is Thy Name, O Lord. And it's not saying this guy whose picture is on part of the cover is, is Lord, you know? It's not saying um, there's some being in the clouds, some, some entity. It's saying, it's, 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 I think it's brilliant. It's just pointing to the heart, the feeling that comes from inside of me is thy name, O Lord. The heart, the feeling that's generated within us is what, the feeling of devotion, in other words, inside of us is what we can be devoted to then it becomes this full loop, this cycle that never stops because it's the feeling. It's not this symbol or that symbol or that name is holy and this one isn't and this text of these you know, ideas, beliefs about how we should behave or not behave. This isn't the truth. It's the feeling that's elicited inside my very most essential being that is the truth. So it feels beautiful to uh, to get a little taste of that and, and to allow the taste to spread and spread, which is what happens when we when we embark on this path of of finding our own relationship with truth, our own connection with our heart, and and then there's no rules in that. There's no rules whatsoever. It's pretty pretty sweet. But then if we don't listen to our heart, then we feel, we feel uh, the, the outcome of that. So, something else I was going to say. Some other thing. Know thyself is the highest, the highest path, and the the way to happiness. Self knowledge is everything. Bless.